uh, I first started, one of my very first successful companies was an IT training and certification company called EdNet Education Network. EdNet grew from five centers, five training centers, to 156 franchises worldwide in 11 countries. That, that was one of the very successful companies and which was acquired by another huge group and the company went public in the year 2000. So that was a $180, $200 million IPO. So uh, followed by EdNet, the success of EdNet and I have experience in franchise development, IT, IT training and certification franchise development, uh, I converted some of the EdNet centers into a management school, management training school. And I also started, I'm a serial entrepreneur, so I started several companies other than the software companies. I also had another technology company which provides online learning technologies to uh, um, corporations and universities. Some of our clients are Oracle, HP, uh, Sun Microsystems invested in that company, and the Singapore Economic Development Board invested in our company. And Vickers Financial Group, Dr. Finian Tan, he invested in that company too. So the couple of investors, VCs, angel investors, invested in that company. So I had a training company and I had an e-learning technology company. And I was thinking, why not I put the technology and the ability to develop online learning content into a academic degree granting environment? And that's when the, the idea, the concept of online education came in. This was way back in 2001 when internet was just beginning. In 2002, I filed an uh, application to the state of California. I, mean, I, I grew up here, meaning uh, Silicon Valley used to be my base. I learned a lot from San Jose, uh, San Francisco area. That's where my technology ventures uh, saw its success. So I love California, and I wanted to set up a California university. And so the, the first name was California University of Technology because we had a lot of tech programs that we started. Later, we got accredited last year, and we expanded our programs from tech programs to healthcare, IT, business, management, entrepreneurship, global business. So we have now 18 degree programs, uh, media, entertainment. So, so we, Cal University became California Intercontinental University. And now we have students coming from 18 different countries, and we have learning sites and articulations with more than uh, eight other countries outside the United States. Surprise was difficulty. I never thought it so difficult, right? Uh, when I applied to the state in year 2003, it took almost two years for us to get the provisional license, which is unusual. Um, we know the state of California is in a difficult state, so uh, the state agency which governs the private post-secondary industry uh, didn't have adequate funds, so they were not able to make a site visit in Southern California uh, to give us an approval. So that took two years of our time to just get a provision license. And that's when I was able to attract some seed capital to start my venture. Then it took two more years for them to uh, give us full approval. So you can't go for accreditation unless you are fully approved. And I don't want to recruit even one student without the state approval, full approval, because if you're provisional, you can your license can always be taken away. So I don't want to, I don't want to have a disappointing, I don't want to disappoint any student for that matter. So I was waiting for two more years. So totally, I was waiting for four years, right? Expensing half a million dollars every year on technology, content, curriculum, space, rentals. Uh, salaries. I got to maintain a minimum of three, four staff. You know, an operations director. You know, as chief academic officer and some faculty and myself. So, I would say two million dollars just went on the licensing process. Then the blessing in disguise, uh, we found the DTC, the Distance Education Training Council, is the ideal accrediting agency uh, for online education. So we approached them. They were very friendly, very motivating, and of course it's a tough process. Getting accreditation is not easy. It's we, But being a, coming from a tech background, I 
built many startups from zero to IPO. So I know, I, I believe in people process technology. So I had the right people, right process, right technology in place. So the, the time taken for getting ourselves accredited was relatively quicker compared to the norm. The norm is normally three to five years. We were able to do it slightly better than three to five years. So here we are. So I never thought and uh, running an online technology university is very tough is because many reasons. A, compliance. You need to, you know, comply to the state. You need to comply to the uh, accrediting agency. You got to comply to the uh, federal uh, regulations. It's, it's, a regulator, it's a highly regulated industry, right? So compliance is a big thing. And B, uh, you know, finding right quality people, you know, because we offer programs all the way up to doctorate degree. So all our faculty members have to have a PhD or an equivalent doctorate degree with them from an accredited school. So that, it's a big difficulty. And I come from a non-academic background. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a tech guy. I'm an investor. I'm a, I'm a businessman. It's hard to convince and make people in the academic world to understand how technology works and how you know a rapidly successful business model can grow so there are a lot of challenges uh, unbelievable unexpected challenges over the last five years so it was not easy at all to build an online university but it's a very prestigious business to be in I believe Cal University to me is not a business to me, it's a legacy.